Hi, I'm Anika Gianforti with Cornell University. Welcome to our COVID-19 control training for the food industry. We will be covering basic information about the virus that causes COVID-19, as well as how you and your company can work to minimize the spread. After this short video, there will be three quiz questions. You will receive an email of completion after submitting the quiz. Each food industry employee has a responsibility to prevent the spread of COVID-19. This is important not only for individuals and their families, but also their coworkers in the entire food supply chain. Just as good manufacturing practices are critical for food safety, following proper control strategies to prevent the spread of COVID-19 is critical to the health and safety of the workforce. Coronavirus disease, or COVID-19, is a respiratory illness that spreads from person to person. The primary way COVID-19 is spread is through respiratory droplets. If an infected person sneezes or coughs, individuals in close contact could contract the virus. Though the virus could also be spread by touching frequently touched surfaces, the key ways to avoid contracting the virus are by social distancing, face coverings, and hand washing. The virus that causes COVID-19 is different from foodborne viruses. There is no evidence that the virus can be transmitted through food. All foodborne viruses are non-enveloped, which means they have an outer layer of proteins that make them very resistant to stomach acid. COVID-19 is caused by an enveloped virus. Enveloped viruses are very easily killed because rather than having a protein layer to protect them, there is only a fat layer. This means that even if one were to ingest the virus that causes COVID-19, the stomach acid would inactivate the virus. This means the primary concern in the workplace is to protect the workforce from becoming ill. It is important to stay away from others when possible, even if you or they have no symptoms. This reduces the risk of person-to-person -person transmission through infectious respiratory droplets. Social distancing should be practiced at work and during breaks, and you should limit close contact with others outside your household, including on your commute to and from work. Social distancing is especially important for people who are at higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Remember to stay at least six feet or about two arms lengths from other people, do not gather in groups, and stay out of crowded places and avoid mass gatherings. In addition to everyday steps to prevent COVID-19, keeping space between you and others is one of the best tools we have to avoid being exposed to this virus and slowing its spread locally and across the country and world. The main purpose of wearing a face covering is to protect others from contracting the virus if you have it. Remember, you could spread COVID-19 to others even if you do not feel sick. This is one of the reasons the CDC and health organizations around the world have recommended face coverings. The cloth face covering is a tool we can use to reduce risk for everyone. Just like a hair or beard net must be worn correctly to be effective, Face coverings must also be worn correctly to be effective. To correctly wear a face covering, wash your hands before putting on your face covering. Put it over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. Try to fit it snugly against the sides of your face and make sure you can breathe easily. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands after wearing the face covering. Wearing a face covering is not a replacement for social distancing. In order to reduce the risk of transmission, social distancing and face coverings should be utilized. Both of these methods should be utilized in the workplace. Remember to wear your face covering correctly. Avoid touching your face covering with unwashed hands. Avoid pulling the face covering up on your forehead or down around your neck. Follow your company's policies and procedures for wearing face coverings at work. Wear the face covering when you are in public and wash cloth face coverings after each use. Just like good manufacturing practices, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. 
especially before putting on gloves, after changing work areas, or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Though this has always been a good manufacturing practice, it is more important than ever for your health and the health of others in your work area. Remember to wash your hands before starting work, putting on gloves, taking a break, preparing food or eating, smoking, touching your face, and putting on a face covering. Wash your hands after your shift ends, using the restroom, taking a break, eating, smoking, sneezing, blowing your nose or coughing, touching your face, or putting on, touching, or removing face coverings. And remember to wash your hands anytime your hands are visibly dirty. Always follow your company's policies and procedures for proper hand hygiene. The virus can enter the body through the eyes, nose, and mouth. To limit the risk of contracting the virus, it is important that you do not touch your face with unwashed hands or dirty gloves. You should also be careful not to share items that come in close contact with your face, such as cell phones, food utensils, or used or unwashed face coverings. We focus on cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces as well as hand washing to reduce the risk of transmitting the virus from a surface to you. However, surface transmission is not the main source of spreading the virus. As mentioned previously, the main source of COVID-19 transmission is from person to person through respiratory droplets. You may have heard sayings about leaving home issues at home and work issues at work. Unfortunately, the virus causing COVID-19 does not play by those rules. What employees do outside of work can have a big impact on the health and safety of their coworkers. This is why it is imperative that employees follow social distancing and face covering guidelines in their personal lives as well as at work. We specifically recommend that individuals continue to avoid large gatherings and make an effort to avoid exposure to others outside of their households. If you or someone within your household has been potentially exposed to the virus causing COVID-19, it is imperative that you inform your employer. Because of the nature of the virus, what happens to you outside of work can affect everyone else in the workplace. This is one of the reasons employee health screening is so important. Your employer may implement screening policies to protect employees and prevent the spread. These could include practices like symptom questionnaires and temperature checks. If you have any symptoms, stay home and reach out to your primary health care provider. If you have been in contact with somebody who has tested positive for COVID-19, inform your company's management. Make sure you notify your supervisor if you experience any of the following symptoms. A fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or more, chills, cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, out of the ordinary tiredness, bluish lips or face, muscle pain, runny nose or nasal congestion, sore throat, a loss of the sense of smell or taste, or gastrointestinal problems. It is important to be honest with your employer when being screened for COVID-19 symptoms and to report potential exposure with people who have tested positive for COVID-19, even if you have shown no symptoms. Check with your company to understand new policies related to COVID-19 sick leave. There is no reason you should come to work if you have symptoms. Each individual in the food industry is responsible for contributing to a preventive COVID-19 culture. By following these steps, you can contribute to a healthy work environment. Follow social distancing guidelines. Wear face coverings correctly. Wash your hands often and avoid touching your face. Be responsible at home and report COVID-19 symptoms or exposure. COVID-19 has caused us to do things differently to protect our essential workers and their families. Please follow guidelines issued by the Center for Disease Control and your employer in order to promote a healthy work environment. If you have questions about COVID-19 in the food industry, please visit our website at instituteforfoodsafety.cornell.edu.